to know why I'm such a psycho, then subscribe to this channel. Welcome to my channel, this is Search, bringing you another action figure collector's review on the Power Rangers Lightning Collections in Space Psycho Green Ranger. As you can tell, you get the Psycho Green Ranger staring at you through the window. You get a good bit of accessories for this Psycho Green Ranger. You also get a nice little illustrated image that wraps around the box just like so for the Green Ranger. You also get the Power Rangers in Space logo up there at the top. Over on this side of the box, you get the same illustrated image of the Green Ranger. Over here on the back of the box, you get an awesome product shot of this figure. Up here at the top, nothing but the tab, and down here, nothing but the barcode. Let's get to it and open this bad boy up. Okay, let's take a good look at the Green Psycho Ranger's accessories. And first of all, we'll go ahead and take a look at these two gripping hands. And they look very good for what they are. Now I do have a little bit of black seeping through on this one. Just a little bit. It missed the mark. I don't know if you can how well you can tell on that. Let me see if I can't zoom the camera in. That way you can tell. But it did miss the mark a little bit. So that's a little bit disturbing and I don't like that. But it's not too bad noticeable. And this one looks very good. Didn't miss the mark. I like the glossiness that's on the hands. I think it makes them stand out very well. And you do get that nice sculpted line work through there. I think that looks very good. And one thing I forgot to mention with these hands, they have the in and out hinge right here, allowing you to curl his hand uh, in and out. But I would have liked to have seen the, uh, where you could do the side to side. I think that would have been a lot better for some poses with that dagger now normally i would say you know i'd be okay with this hinge right here but i've seen what like with the pink ranger and a couple other rangers from the power rangers line and collection line like the blue zeo where it does have that side to side hinge so i know they could have done it with this so that's a little bit displeasing and we'll go ahead and take a look at his really cool effect hand and it's a normal like grasping can but it's got this really cool green effect piece on it and I really do like it a lot now his fingertips kinda do look a little funny right here but I can just say he's using his like psycho green magic I don't know exactly what you call it from the show but it does look very good I do like these hands a lot and I'm very pleased that every single one of the rangers have this as far as the psycho rangers are concerned and his fisted hand, it looks very good as well. It's your basically your average fisted hand that you get for the Power Rangers line and collection line. And you do need these fisted hands for whenever you're throwing down with a couple of the Power Rangers, whether it be in space or Lost Galaxy. So that's very nice. I'm glad that they included these. And right here, we'll go ahead and take a look at his dagger. His dagger looks very good. It kind of reminds me of the dragon dagger that the Green Ranger Tommy from the Mighty Morphin series carries. It kind of is like a little throwback to that. And now, if you know more about that, if this is supposed to rep you know, resemble that, let me know in the comments below. But I do like it a lot. Now, it does have a little bit of that fuzziness around there and I think the silver missed the mark on there you can see a little bit of marbling in there and the black right here is kind of fuzzy right there where it meets the green and that gold coin didn't come out very gold at all it kind of rubbed off in the box so that's a little bit displeasing I got extra plastic right there and that gold I got extra gold on the handle which doesn't bother me too bad because He's going to probably pre posed with this in his hand. So he'll cover that up. So that's not that big of an issue. But for all in all, 
I do like it a lot. I like the sculpting line work and the detailing on this. I just wish the paint would be a little bit better on this figure. At least that accessory. We'll go ahead and look at his little effect piece. Now, I do like it a lot. And I do have a major complaint with this piece. And that is, if I can find it on camera, I might have to take it off camera. But right here, right there where that slit is, I'm going to zoom in again. You see how much bigger that is than normal? And I don't like that at all. And plus, it just really doesn't look good whenever you put it on the dagger. No matter which way you put it. See, you can put it like that, and it just doesn't look good. And you just flip it over the other way. And I just don't like none of that on this dagger. I just think that looks a little bit weird and goofy. But, I mean, it's not coming off, but it feels very loose in there. Like, it wobbles it wobbles around a lot. So, I mean, it's not coming off. But I, figure, I feel like over time, it will fall off this dagger. But anyway, that was a good look at his accessories. Here he is, Psycho Green Rangers out of the box and out of space and getting ready to drain some energy from a Power Ranger onto your screen. Now this is a Hasbro Pulse exclusive and it's a very interesting take to this figure and we're getting ready to figure out if he's worth the price tag in just a second. Now let's take a good look at this Psycho Green's articulation. First of all, his head's not going to look up at all. It does hit the collar of this piece right here, and that's very unfortunate. I wish we could get a little bit more looking up, but, you know, this is a pretty good sculpt on this figure, so I'm not going to complain that much about it. He can look down, almost all the way down to his toesies, which isn't bad at all. He does not have hardly any of that confused dog going on whatsoever he does have the exorcist which is a full 360 he can throw the perfect pitch which he can spin his arm around in a full 360 he does have a butterfly joint right here and it's a little hindered because of this rubber piece right here this armor and it's not too bad and his arm can go back that far which is a pretty decent amount you do get a bicep swivel you got double jointed elbows that bend in that far you do get a swivel and a hinge right here at his wrist and you get this awesome torso articulation allowing you to lean him that far to that side that far to that side you do get that swivel in there and that's where you'll get to turn him around you can get him crunching forward that far with just the torso back that far with just the torso if you add in that second ab crunch right there you can get him hit in the face by some power rangers we're looking pretty cool and you can get him looking all the way down to his toesies, which is a very great amount. You do get his legs that can split out that far. You do get a thigh cut in here. You get double jointed knee bend right there. And he can kick back that far with it. And he can kick his leg that far forward and that far back. He does have a swivel right here at his thigh, or I'm sorry, at his shin. And right here, he can do the perfect ballerina, allowing you to get all kinds of great range out of that. His foot can go that far forward, and he does have ankle rockers. And that was a good look at Psycho Green's articulation. Let's take a look at this Psycho sculpt in detailing. And first of all, his head sculpt looks very good, very accurate from what I can tell. And I do like it a lot. I like the green. I think it pops very well. It flows the figure very well as well. And I think it just looks very good. I like that a lot. Um, I like the silver paint apps that came around the mouth. And I think that looks very good for the me metallic they used. I really do like that a lot. And you get kind of like a, a seam going down. And I like it a lot. That it lets you know where the center of the head is the sculpt work looks good you can get a little bit, got a little bit of extra black right there but not nothing bad to complain about you can use that as battle damage even though i got it out of the box like that but i do like the glossiness on the helmet i think that looks good looking at the back doesn't look like there's any paint out of place other than that one spot right there and right here you do get a little bit of fuzziness right there is collar it's very unfortunate where the white and the black meet, 
But all in all, for the most part, it's not that bad. Just in that one spot, it kind of bothers me a little bit. But it does look very good. I do like it a lot at the back. And he does have the nice armor right back there. And this is all a nice soft rubber. So it doesn't really bother articulation. But it kind of does with the shoulder and the head. But other than that, it does... It does what it's supposed to do. It looks very good on the figure. And he does have a little bit of sculpted mon work on there. Looks very good. I like all the silver suds that you see on the figure. I think that looks very good as well. And I like the wrinkling that you see on him. I like the white and the green came out very good. There in his hands. Through here. And if you stretch the figure back you do get to see this line continues but on mine right there it's got some chipping right there that came out of the factory that way so um that's a little bit you know bothers me a little bit but oh all the figure does still look very good do like it a lot and there's this n on his belt now what does that N stand for? If you know what that N stands for, let me know in the comments. It's probably something from the Super Sentai, but I'm not 100% sure. But I do like these studs down there at this crotch where his chastity belt would be. But anyway, right here you got some wrinkling, more sculpted line work, and down here is armor. You can tell that this is different where it, well, like the cloth material meets the armor. I do like that a lot, and you do get these shin guards right down here, it looks very good on both sides, peg holes at the bottom of the feet, serial number right there, and if you like the green Psycho Rangers butt, then be sure to give this video a thumbs up, because I just showed it to you, and right there, but that, anyway, that was a good look at the Psycho Greens sculpt in detail, Psycho Green scales up against a couple of other Power Rangers from the Lightning Collection line, Psycho Rangers, over there on his left we have Psycho Red, and over there on his right we have Psycho Blue, and the team is coming along very slowly, but we also have the Amazon exclusive pack with all the Psycho Rangers in it, and I'm kind of excited for it. In a way, but in a way, I'm kind of not because we're going to get doubled up on the red and blue. So maybe for the other people that didn't want to shell out $100 just to have the Psycho Rangers all at one get-go, maybe they'll do like a re-release like they did with the green and blue ones and release the other Rangers. Hopefully, that's what I'm, think that's what I'm hoping for. But I don't know, let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Now, Psycho Green scales up against a couple of Bandai action figures from the Anime Heroes line, My Hero Academia. Over there on his left, we have Midoriya Izuku. And over there on his right, we have All Might. Here's how the Psycho Green Ranger scales up against a couple of NECA action figures from the GameStop exclusive Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1990s movie line. Over there on his left we have the Foot Soldier, and over there on his right from that same line of action figures we have the Shredder. Psycho Green scales up against a couple of McFarlane action figures. Over there on his left from the DC Multiverse we have the Batman Who Laughs, and over there on his right we have Superman. Hyco Green scales up against a couple of Hasbro action figures. Over there on his left, from the Power Rangers Lightning Collection line, we have the Walgreens exclusive Dragon Shield Black Power Ranger. And over there on his right, from Marvel Legends, we have the Walgreens exclusive Iron Man 2020. Here's my final thoughts on this figure. Everybody knows how I feel about the Power Rangers Lightning Collection line. I really do enjoy these figures a lot. Now, with that being said, out of all the Psycho Rangers thus far, this is by far the worst one as far as the pan apps is concerned. And I would have liked to have seen some extra accessories. Yes, we didn't get an extra head sculpt and all that, but I would have liked to have seen an extra fisted hand so we could have had two fisted hands. That would have been nice. And maybe another wide open hand without that power effect. That would have been good too. That way we could have had more options for posing. But let me know what you think of this figure. Let me know what you think of the review in the comments below. And as always, feel the urge to collect with Surge.
you want more action figure collectors reviews, then feel the urge to subscribe to Surge. And if you've liked what you've seen, then click that big thumbs up button. If you want to get notified of my latest videos whenever they drop, click that notification bell. If you want to see this channel grow, share with a friend. Speaking of friends, you can friend me over there on Facebook. Links to that will be in the description below. You can also follow me along on Twitter. Links to that will be in the description below.